This chapter will be a basic skills review. In this lesson, we're going to look at markup, wholesale price, and retail price. Okay, hi everybody. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at markup, wholesale price, and retail price. Okay, so when you go into a store, um, there's there's a, a lot going on kind of behind the scenes. The things that you buy kind of get to you. So first of all, the owner of that store has to buy the products that they sell from somebody else. What they pay is called the wholesale price. Okay, so let's say you go a, a toy store. Okay, the owner of the toy store has has purchased the toys that they are now selling from some sort of wholesaler, and they they pay that whatever price they pay. That's the wholesale price. Then what they'll do is they'll mark up the price. So whatever they whatever they paid for it, they are going to add a certain price. And so what they're doing here, that's so that they can make a profit. They can kind of cover the cost that it, that it requires them to, to get it to you, okay? And then with a little bit of extra on top of that. And then that becomes the retail price. What you end up paying, that what's on that price tag, that's the retail price after the markup is added. The till, okay, that product that you're, you're buying there has probably gone through a few different places, um, and money has been added to it uh, as it goes from from one pl spot to a next uh, to the next until it gets to you. Okay, so let's take a look at a, a few examples here. So it says Mr. Kawai owns a flower shop. He purchases roses at $3.99 per dozen. So basically just under $4 per dozen. He adds a markup of 140% to pay himself and cover the costs of operating the shop. Okay. And that's what that is. That's what that markup is. Okay. Because he's, he is that middleman there. He's the one that's, that's bringing the, the roses in from wherever they're, they're growing them. And he's the one that brings them and presents them to, to you, the, the consumer. So now, what is the wholesale price per dozen roses? Well, that is going to be $3.99. That's what he pays. Now, how much is the markup? Well, he is going to he is going to mark it up 140% okay, of that price. So what we got to do is figure out what is 140% of $3.99. So remember how that works. 140%. And when we do of, we mean multiplication here. So 140% of $3.99 here. So that is going to be, remember, that's 140 over 100. That's what that percentage means here. Multiplied by $3.99. Okay, 140. Uh, remember, we're going to move the decimal two places over. So it's going to be 1.4 times $3.99. Now I go to my calculator. 1.4 times 3.99. And he is going to mark that up $5, and I'm going to round this to the nearest cent here, $5.59. Now, that's not how much he's charging. That's the markup. Okay. So then what's the retail price for per dozen roses here? Well, that's going to be the wholesale price plus the markup. So we're going to add those together here. So 5.59 plus 3.99. And so he is going to charge his customers $9.58 per dozen roses, okay? And I know that might look like a, a lot of, of extra money considering he only paid $3.99, but, I mean, he's got bills to pay too and he wants to make a, a bit of a profit on that. So, yeah, that's, that's the way that system works. Let's look at another example, okay? Uh, Ms. Polner sells personalized luggage. She purchases a suitcase for $15.45 from a supplier, personalizes it, so, so now she's doing some work with it, and adds a markup of 86%. What is the retail price of the suitcase? Okay, well, we know the wholesale price. We're going to start with that. We know that the wholesale price is going to be that $15.45. The markup, we just heard, was 86% of that. So, and remember, of means multiplication. So it's going to be 86% of 1545 
86 percent is 86 over 100 15.45 and when I divide 86 by 100 that's like moving the decimal two places to the left 15.45 and so now I pull up my calculator 0.86 times 15.45 and I'm going to get 13 dollars and when I round that 29 cents now remember though that's the markup so the the retail price is going to be the fifteen dollars and forty five cents that she paid plus the markup of thirteen dollars and twenty nine cents so fifteen dollars and forty five cents plus thirteen dollars and twenty nine cents she is going to twenty eight dollars and seventy four cents let's keep looking Kelly sells lemonade on the street by her house it costs her 12 cents to make one cup of lemonade and she sells it for a dollar how much is the markup okay well this is this is substantially easier here because remember this is how this works here retail is equal to wholesale plus markup so in this case right here we know that she's only spending 12 cents per cup. I don't know, know that she's selling it oops, for a dollar. So really what I got to do here is figure out well, what's the difference between what she's selling it for and what she pays for. So I'm going to subtract that 12, that 12 cents from both sides. Oops. I'm going to subtract that 12 cents from both sides. And when you do that, you're going to get... 88 cents is the markup okay so she's adding 88 cents to every cup of of lemonade that she sells wally buys a case of 100 ballpoint pens for 26 dollars and 40 cents and sells each pen for three dollars and 79 cents in his gift shop how much is the markup on one pen okay well, there's a little bit more going on here. So Wally buys a case of 100 ballpoint pens for $26.40 and sells each pen for $3.79. Okay, well, what we got to do here is we got to figure out, first of all, how much is he spending wholesale price per pen? So we actually have to do just a little bit of work to get the wholesale price here. Because he buys or he spends twenty six dollars and forty cents, and normally that that would be you know what he spends is the wholesale price here, but he's buying that in bulk. That's going to get him a hundred ballpoint pens. So we got to divide that money by the one hundred pens that he that that bought him. Okay, how much is each one of those pens costing him? And when you do that, remember dividing by a hundred simply moves the decimal point two places over. So really what we're going to get here is that's going to be 0 0.26. Now I'm, I'm going to leave the four zero in there for right now, even though that doesn't make a bunch of sense here, but because basically he's spending 26 cents, okay, per one pen. So this is dollars per 100 pens. And I've just basically converted it to a unit price, but I'm going to leave that, that 40 in there. Um, ah, you know what? Maybe I won't, maybe it won't here. This is going to be approximately... 26 cents per pen. We'll just leave it like that. Now, and sells each pen for $3.79. Okay, well, his remember how this works. We've got retail equals wholesale plus markup. Well, we know that he's selling each pen for $3.79. However, it's only costing him 26 cents to get that pen so when I subtract that, okay, when we go the $3.79, when we subtract the $0.26 cents that it cost him to get that, we get a $3.53 markup. That's how much he's adding to each pen. Now, one other thing that we might look at here is that sometimes we're asked what the percent markup is. 
Okay. So in a couple of the previous questions, we gave you what the percent markup was, and then we calculated what the actual markup was and, and added it to the wholesale price. Now here, we're going to try to figure out what that percentage is. Okay. So this means we want to know what the percentage is, the, uh, what the markup is of the original wholesale price, not the retail price, the wholesale price. So we need to know the markup and then we need to write that as a percentage of the wholesale price. So here we go. It costs Jesse $14.75 to make a t-shirt. Okay, that is that is the wholesale price uh, for Jesse here. He sells it for $29.50. What is his percent markup? Well, first of all, what we got to do is figure out what the markup is. And so remember in this case, and we've, we've already done a couple questions like this, markup here is going to be the retail price minus the wholesale. Now, for us, that's going to be $29.50, or for us, I should say for Jesse. And the wholesale price was $14.75. So let's just figure it out there. We'll figure out the difference. $29.50 minus $14.75. Okay. So we get $14.75. That's the, that's the markup. Now, we need to figure out what percentage that is of the, the retail price. Sorry, that, that's not what I meant to say. I meant to say wholesale price. What percentage that is of the wholesale price? So our our percent markup, our percent markup, it's kind of an awkward way to write it, is going to be the markup divided by the wholesale price. Well, 14.75 divided by 14.75, that is just one. Uh, but remember, this is this was like one out of one. Now what I want to do is I want to make this out of 100. So I'm going to multiply numerator and denominator by a, by 100. So I'm going to get 100 over 100, which is the same as 100%. There is a 100% markup. And so when you hear that, when you hear that there's a 100% markup, what that means is basically he just doubled the price. Okay? So whatever whatever Jesse bought, for us, or say paid when he bought it, he just doubles it. And that's that's what he's going to sell it for. Okay, Ms. Tusley buys plywood in bulk to sell at her hardware, st or sorry, hardware store. She buys it for $17.37 per seat. So that's, that is wholesale. And adds a markup of $23.42. Okay, so first of all, what is the retail price? Okay, well, retail is going to be wholesale plus markup. We're going to write it like that now. So $17.37 plus $23.42. So $17.37 plus $23.42. So she is selling it for $40.79. Now, what's her percent markup? Well, that's going to be, that is going to be your markup, okay, divided by your wholesale price. So our markup was $23.42. And our wholesale price was seventeen dollars. Whoops, and thirty-seven cents. So I'm going to go to my calculator here: twenty-three forty-two divided by seventeen thirty-seven, and I get one point three four eight three zero one. Blah blah blah. Goes on forever. Uh, let's well, let's take this one so it goes to the nearest tenth of a percent here. So this is over one. I'm going to multiply numerator and denominator by a hundred. So I'm going to move that over one two. So 134.8 over 100. But remember that the, when I write it as a percentage, I basically mean out of 100. So it's going to be 134.8%. That is the percent markup that she, that she is using to sell her hardwood. Now, I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps clarify uh, kind of some of the stuff that happens when you go out shopping, uh, what's kind of happening behind the scenes, and gives you a little bit more confidence working with percentages. Mm -hmm.